What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video and in this video I want to touch upon an issue I ended up running into with this car after throwing on my RTR sway bar on my 2014 Mustang if you guys don't know already. And the issue I'm running into right now is actually probably a quite common problem for people who do throw on sway bars on their car. And the issue I'm running into right now is dealing with clunking. It just recently started happening about a week or so ago, maybe even two weeks ago. It's been bothering the living shit out of me and I want to just clear up this issue before it becomes worse. Now the weird part about this is that the car doesn't feel like it's dealing with any sort of like driving issue. Everything feels smooth, everything feels great, everything feels fine. The only issue I'm running into is when I go over a bump, it starts to clunk. I remember dealing with this issue a while back and throwing all my coilovers on the car. And when I threw the coilovers on the car, it was just clunking and clunking and clunking and clunking and clunking. But it probably doesn't really help that I had eBay coilovers on there anyway. I ended up realizing it was just a spring issue where it was just bouncing around inside of here. It's and the preload is not adjusted enough. And after doing some research and doing some homework online, I found there was two possible reasons why this could have been clunky. The first and the most common issue that a lot of people deal with when it comes to installing a new sway bar or even just having an old sway bar and you're dealing with clunking is this end link right here. This end link could become broken, it could be loose up top, it could also have the bushings inside here could be completely blown out and it causes the clunk. So what ends up happening is the car's moving up and down, the sway bar is also moving in as well. It can cause it to hit other components within the car and it causes it to make that weird sound that you hear inside your car. When I first installed these with Joe, both these bolts were tight up top and also the bottom here. And once the suspension settles on the car, you start dealing with issues where things could become loose over time. And you want to double check on those things as time goes on just to make sure everything stays nice and tight. And so this upper bolt was tight when I first checked it. And the one back here that looks exactly like this one was actually fairly loose. When I stuck the wrench on there and I pulled up on it, I didn't have to do any leverage on it at all. And I'm assuming that's the reason why this bar was clunking. And I originally, I thought at first, maybe the bar was just really long and it was hitting against the lower control arm. But as I started feeling under the sway bar over here, as well as the lower control arm, I didn't feel any sort of like paint chips or any dents or dings in it. And I thought, okay, well, maybe that was the issue and it clearly wasn't. And the other possible scenario as well that could run into an issue for you if it's not the end link could be your sway bar bushings. If those are not tight at all, then you're clearly gonna run into issues with your sway bar clunking overall i felt that it was either one it could have been the bushings or two it could have been the end link so i just tested out the car i made sure whenever i do go over a bump while turning and also while i'm going straight and i'm happy to report that it did not clunk whatsoever i found out that the end link was the issue or it could have potentially been that my wheels a little loose because when i did take it off the lugs weren't as tight as i would like them to be but other than that though i want to give you guys that quick little update that it did end up solving the problem so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a fat like and also so comment down below if you have any questions at all because this is not my first rodeo dealing with this bullshit. Other than that though, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.